Hey guys, it's Delcy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be back to school hacks. And I will be doing a few hacks for both high school and college because most of you guys know that I am in college. Um, so for these hacks, I'm not telling you guys that you need to do all of them. These things are just what helped me through high school and the things I'm hoping will help me through college. So without further ado, oh, let's get started. So the first thing I will be starting with is the high school hacks. And I will start with what, like the supplies and what you probably need for high school. Um, pencils to write with. I usually got both um, mechanical and regular pencils um, just because I like really writing my notes with mechanical pencils and like most pe teachers are like you need to use um, number two pencils for testing so I had to have those. And then lead from the mechanical pencils because I was always that person who always ran out of lead um, and can never find any lead and apparently no one else had lead so lead is really helpful. Um, pens to take notes with. Um, whenever I got pens I got like colorful pens like the packs that have different colors like colors in the rainbow and then I got solid black, red, and blue. And um, and for like for me taking notes was easier with colored with colored pens because it was easier just to like comprehend what I was learning and I could just find things easier. Um, notebooks for taking notes. Um, what I did in high school was I got a notebook for each class that I had. Um, most of the time I just got a five subject notebook and because I can fit five subjects and it was just easier that way so I didn't have a lot of different notebooks. Um, and the last thing for uh, supplies would be folders um, to keep papers in. Um, when I was in high school I had a folder for each class so it was just easier. That way I could keep all my stuff organized and not like switch papers between different classes. Um, so now for high school tips to how to stay organized. Um, a planner um, is really necessary for whether you're in high school or going into college because you need some way to write down, some way to write down important dates even if you have like a big calendar, um, just a little small planner that you can just carry around with you that way you know like, oh I have band practice on Tuesday. Like, that's an example. Um, most of the time I forgot to write in a planner, but that's because I had a computer in high school, so I, I can just type everything on my computer. Um, and the last thing for high school would be uh, one of those portfolio binders, and I think I have one actually. I don't know where it's at, but it's just the one where you flip it over and there's different like spaces and folders and stuff that you can all you can put your stuff in that is easier than a bunch of different folders um but sometimes you forget like what class you had in each slot and you just like half the time are lazy you just stick everything in there so yeah so next into college so i haven't started my classes yet i moved in a week early for marching band camp but these are things that i'm bringing that I'm doing to help myself get organized. If you want to use some of these ideas and that you find them helpful, that's good. So for supplies, um, you don't really need a lot of supplies. Sometimes your college will send you a list of things that you need for like your dorm room and mine had a school supply section. Um, for that I just got pencils, pens, scissors, stapler, and then a few other things that were on my list and things that I thought would help me stay organized and be successful in college. So next is for tips. Um, so most dorms in college I guess have desks and some of them have different drawers in your desk. So I would use the drawers to organize all the stuff that you think is like needs to be at your desk. Um, that's what I did because I have three drawers. The top one for me is like extra like little supply stuff, little extra supplies. The second one is extra notebooks and folders and paper that I can use if I run out of anything. 
And then my bottom drawer is my the biggest drawer for me, and it just has all of my school supplies, like all the folders I'm using, and all of my textbooks and stuff like that. Um, I would get a little pencil holder thing, kind of like this, to hold all your little stuff in. I think I know I get, there's pencil holder things at Target and. There's probably ones at Walmart too, so if you just go to your, lo your local Target or Walmart, you can find, just find one of those. Um, a great thing that I did to help me remember what my classes were for the day and the week was I took sticky notes, which I'll show you guys, which is like this, you can kind of see, which is I just took sticky notes and I put it all the days of the week and I wrote all of my classes for those days. Like, like Monday, the weeks are like or horizontal on my wall, and then my classes are vertical. And so that's what that did. That can be really helpful in the morning. So um, for me, that way, like I can when I wake up, because I'll just come sit down at my desk, because like my fridge is right here. I can just sit down and get everything that I need, and I can look at my wall and be like, okay, I need my basic musicianship stuff on Monday. Um, for my folders, what I did was I just took five folders that I bought and labeled them to the days of the week. So I had, like, this one is Monday. And I, what I did and how I did that was I just took a, um, a note card and I wrote Monday on the days of the week on it. And then I took a binder clip and I clipped it to the first part. So that's Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll write it. So that's what I did, so that way I can like um, organize them. So say I had, so say I had um, comp, my English class. Say I had homework on Monday, and the next time I go to that class is on Wednesday, and the teacher's like, "Pull out what you did on Monday." I can just go back to my Monday folder and do that. And also, what I'm doing with my folders is that at the end of every like day, when I get back to my room, I'll be organizing them based like the papers inside based on class. So I know, like, oh, this was an organized and based on when I have them. So the next time I have my class, I can, I can just pull up, like, this is what, this is for this class and stuff, etc. And then for my last tip thing, um, for my notebooks, I did the same thing as my folders. And that way, because of my bottom, like, I put them in my bottom drawer of my desk, that way in the morning I can just go through and be like, oh, I need my intro to music class, like, I can just do that. So this is my intro to music one, my sight singing, uh, basic musicianship, so this would be the one that I take on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, uh, my one of my seminars, my fundamentals of voice, my other seminar, and then like education comp one. So that is what I did with that. So that is all the back to school hacks that I had. If you like any of these or using them or going to start using them, let me know. And let me know if you guys have any school hacks that help you guys stay organized in school. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And don't forget to ask your questions for a future Q&A video.